Hey. Okay, I am back for a slightly different video. It's a quick update. And then um, I have some other stuff to uh, cover. So, um, today is October 8th, Monday. And um, I weighed in yesterday. Um, and I lost 2.4 which brings my total to um, 101 pounds and 6 ounces. So that means I have crossed the 100 pound threshold and I am very, very, very excited about that. Um, yeah. Um, and as my reward, um, as I previously mentioned, I am going to get a Kindle. Um, unfortunately, the Kindle I want is on back order. Um, I actually went to the store yesterday because I was going to get a different type of Kindle and I didn't really like it in person and uh, I just, I'm just going to have to wait. So, um, <clears throat> but I have earned my Kindle and I'm very excited. Okay. I decided to make a different type of video um, because I haven't really made a video explaining why I decided to lose weight or what prompted me or my aha moments. And um, I was watching a video by this lady I just discovered. Her videos are awesome. Um, her name is. Um, Thriftastic mom, and um, you should totally check her out. Um, so she made a video explaining explaining or her like aha moment, and I I thought it was amazing that she made that video, and it really it really let me understand her better. So let me tell you about my aha moment. So, <clears throat> all right, my aha moment took place on December 21st, 2010. Let me back it up a little bit. August 2010, my mother passed away. And as soon as she passed away, I decided that food was my best friend. I've always been an emotional eater and I literally just, I mean, I was already overweight and then I decided food was, you know, something I, I needed all the time. And also during that time, there was more drama going on um, surrounding my father and um, his new, within weeks of my mother passing away, uh, girlfriend. So, mind you, my parents were together when my mother passed away. And within weeks, um, there was a person who was already involved in the situation who my father let it be known he was dating. And by December, they moved in together. August, December. So, I was having a hard time. I was just really just not in a good place at all. <laughs> and so, like I said, I was just eating and eating and, you know, I just felt like it was what I needed at the time to deal with the situation, to deal with my mother passing away, 
the day she passed away, my mother had been sick for a while. And, uh, but the day she passed away, it was very traumatic, um, because it was unexpected and it was, it was just really, really awful. It was just, it's one of those things you never want to see your mother in an ER with doctors trying to resuscitate her. You never want to see that. That's something you never, ever, ever want to see. You don't want to see that on anyone, more or less your mother. So let's fast forward to December 21st. Okay. December 21st, I was at work and it was the, literally the day I was supposed to, like the next day I started my Christmas vacation. I usually take um, like a week and a half off around Christmas and I come back, you know, after the new year. So it's about five o'clock and I'm at work and I work in news. I work at a TV station. Um, I work in the newsroom and if you can imagine the newsroom is in the back and then there's a front part that, you know, gas come in and whatever. Uh, which is not really, it's like kind of not really far away, but not really close together. So, sitting there working, and there are police scanners um, that play in the newsroom, you know, so they can kind of hear what's going on. And um, all of a sudden, on the police scanners, you hear gun someone with a gun <laughs> and they say where the heck I work and it was like what <laughs> yeah <clears throat> so at that time <laughs> we were about to go on the air with the five o'clock news and apparently <laughs> um, someone came into the front part of the station with a gun to their head. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> this is crazy. So, you know, we're in the newsroom and everyone's like, okay, what do we do? And eventually the SWAT team comes back to the newsroom and escorts us out to the back parking lot. You know, we had to evacuate because of the person with the gun. <laughs> Mind you, they were not in the newsroom. They were in the front front part. Well, we saw I'd be evacuated, which, you know, yeah. So, we're in the back parking lot waiting. <laughs> um, and as I said, because I work at a news station, cameras are rolling. And, you know, we're shooting video of ourselves because it's obviously going to be a huge story. There are heli helicopters from other stations flying above us. I mean, it was just insane. So for like an hour and a half to two hours, we're in the back parking lot. I'm just standing there like, okay, all right. <laughs> so they take the person with the gun into custody and we all go back inside at work. <clears throat> it was about time for me to go home. So I <clears throat> excuse me. I leave. <laughs> um later that night my friend and coworker she sends me a text and says Hey by the way, you're gonna be on the news tonight you're in someone's package. I'm like, okay. So, I recorded it because I didn't want to see it because I was like, oh my gosh, I don't even want to see this. So, I recorded it. <clears throat> and then I watched it a little later. And this is what I saw.
Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it was interesting because I had no idea I was being personally filmed. Like, I didn't realize I was in the shot. So, you know, you're just standing there. That's how you just, that's how you look. That's how you look. You're not, you know, sometimes when you're trying to take a picture, you kind of angle yourself this way or that way or suck it in or do something. But I I saw myself. I was like, oh, my God. I I honestly, I didn't know I I, I look like that. I, I, I promise you, I had no idea. I mean, I knew I was overweight. I knew, I knew it, but I didn't, I just, I, I had no idea. I, I, I had no idea. And so I got through the holidays and the very first Sunday in January of 2011, I joined Weight Watchers, and I said I wanted to do the program for a year and see where I end up, and that's what I did. Um, I didn't realize I was going to get engaged. Um, the wedding and wedding planning kind of threw me off a little bit because I was very stressed and I I just it yeah while most women try to lose weight for a wedding I was just trying to not lose my sanity <laughs> so um, I did I lost like 80 then gained 20 <laughs> this is all before the wedding I gained 20 and so after the wedding, I had lost basically 60 pounds. And that's when I decided I needed to continue. So that's my story. It's, <laughs> it's not the most interesting story, I guess, but it's my story. And I wanted to share it with you guys. So y'all can get to know me a little better and kind of understand me. <laughs> um, so I am going to include some pictures right now at the end of this video of my journey a little bit this year, well, two years almost, and um, yeah, and I just want to say for everybody who watches my videos and who comments, and I, I thank you because I, at this point, don't have a lot of support, it seems, um, off of the internet. <laughs> um, when I started, I had a lot of support, but now not so much. So I really, really thank you. And um, it's not the end of my journey, obviously. <laughs> I, have a, I have a ways to go. So um, that's it. So uh, thank you for watching. I'll be back.